Hi everyone, this is Bernard Bertrand, photographer, director, and Lumix ambassador. On this quick tip, I'm gonna guide you onto the process I'm using when I'm shooting video under a bright sun outside, how to deal with the exposure with my camera on a gimbal using variable ND filter in order to stick with the 180 degree shutter rule. I was out under a super bright sun for a client, my Lumix camera on a gimbal. Of course, I was using a variable ND filter in order to kill down the super bright sunlight a bit, in order to stick with the 180 degree shutter rule. I was mainly shooting at 25 fps. When applying the 180 shutter angle rule, it means that I was shooting at the shutter speed 150 of a second. My aperture was set on f2.8. Those two parameters were not longer able to be changed. I wanted to keep my motion blur consistent and f2.8 was my desired aperture to achieve the look I wanted. And there comes the use of the variable ND filter. And of course, I turned the variable ND filter to get the correct exposure when shooting under a bright sun without of course overexposing my images or burning the highlights. And remember to always keep an eye on your waveform. But this will be for another video, I guess. Anyway, I'm all set, ready to roll and shoot under that super bright sun in Corsica. But then what about when I'm working with the camera on the gimbal following the person I was filming in front of me and that sometimes I'm pacing from places right under the sun and then few steps away under a tree where there is up to two to three stops differences in terms of exposure. In that case, there's no way you step into your variable in the filter to open it a bit. And then the second after to close it back when you are facing the sun again. No, not only it will be really difficult to do, to handle your gimbal with one hand and the other hand adjusting the ND filter. No, the really simple trick is then to rely on your auto ISO. You did set your exposure correctly for the bright sun. So no matter what, you are good there. Then the only thing is how to deal with the exposure when you are passing from super bright to a shadow area. Just let the auto ISO deal with it. It will gently and automatically adjust the ISO for you and your shadows will remain safe and clean. You will always be able to adjust it in post, but what you certainly don't want is to crush your blacks when recording. And another really interesting thing is now, because obviously the Panasonic engineers are really listening to what we need, they recently add that functionality. Now when shooting auto ISO, you are actually able to see where your ISO is. And this is fantastic. Before you also could be a little bit worried as you were only able to see auto ISO mentioned. Now you see that you are on auto ISO, but you also see where the camera is actually in terms of ISO. But we all know that the sensitivity is no longer a concern with the fantastic Lumix full frame camera lineup. So that's it. If you're filming on a gimbal under the sun, passing through shadows area on your shot, simply expose the highlight using the ND filter and let the auto ISO deal with the shadows for you. That's it for now. I see you on the next video. Thank you very much. See you next time. Panasonic.